Hey guys, today we're gonna to answer the question, how do I find the area and circumference of circles? So first let's review parts of a circle. Let's start by labeling the radius. So remember the radius is from the center of the circle to the outer edge. So this would be the radius right here. Okay, then the diameter is from edge to edge on a circle going through the center. So this would be the diameter right here. And then the circumference of a circle is the perimeter of a circle. It is just the whole way around a circle. So the part that I highlighted in pink would be the circumference. And the area of a circle, we are just going to shade the circle for that because the area is the covering of the circle. So this would be the area, just the entire shaded part of the circle. Okay, and this year we have practiced finding two different measurements from circle, the area of the circle, which we can find by doing pi r squared, and the circumference of the circle, which you can find by doing pi times the diameter or two pi times the radius because diameter and two times the radius are the same thing. Okay, so let's start with this first one. It says find the area and circumference of the circle shown. So what I need for the area is the radius of the circle. They gave me the diameter of the circle. It is 20 millimeters, so that means the radius is 10 millimeters. So to find the area, I will do pi which is 3.14 times 10 squared. So 10 squared is 100, so I'll do 3.14 times 100, which is 314 and then millimeters squared for area. Okay, then for circumference, I can do pi times the diameter or two pi times the radius. Since they gave me the diameter, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that formula to find the circumference. So it'll be 3.14 times 20 to find the circumference. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply these. And I get 62.8 millimeters for the circumference of the circle. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and find the area and the circumference of this circle as well. This time they gave me the radius, it is 12. So to find the area of the circle, I'll do 3.14 times 12 squared, pi times the radius squared, which is 3.14 times 12 squared is 144. And now I'm gonna multiply these numbers. And we get 452.16 feet squared for the area of this circle. Okay, now circumference of the circle will be 2 pi times the radius since I was given the radius this time. So 2 times 3.14 times 12. So two times 12 is 24. So to find the circumference of this circle, I'll do 3.14 times 24. And for the circumference of this circle, I get 75.36 feet. Okay, let's look at this one. It says a circle has a diameter of nine meters. What is the area of the circle in feet? 
So for the area, I will need to do pi r squared. If the diameter is nine to find the radius, I'll do nine divided by two, which is 4.5. So now to find the area, I will do 3.14. times 4.5 squared. So the first thing I have to do is 4.5 times itself. And 4.5 squared is 20.25. So to find the area of the circle, I will do 20.25 which was 4.5 squared times pi, which is 3.14. And for the area of the circle, I get 63.585, which would round to 63.6 meters squared. Number four says an ice cream company is going to put a gold rim along the edge of their pint lids. If the radius of the circular lid is seven centimeters, how long will the gold rim need to be? So if we are putting a rim around that circular lid, we are finding the circumference. And they gave me the radius. They told me the radius is seven. So I will use the formula two pi r to find the circumference here. So I will do two times pi is 3.14 times the radius of seven. I'm gonna go ahead and multiply two times seven. It is 14. So I'll need to do 3.14 times 14 to find the circumference of this circle. And we get 43.96 centimeters for the circumference of the circle. All right, number five says the diameter of circle A is 18 feet. The diameter of circle B is 24 feet. What is the difference between the circumference of circle A and the circumference of circle B in feet? So I need to find the circumference of circle A and then the circumference of circle B. And then I'm going to find the difference between them, which means I will end up subtracting their circumferences. So let's start by finding the circumference of circle A. To find the circumference, we do pi times the diameter. So 3.14 times the diameter of circle A is 18. So the circumference of circle A is 56.52. Now let's find the circumference of circle B by doing pi, so 3.14 times the diameter of 24. So the circumference of circle B is 75.36. And now I'm gonna find the difference between these two circumferences by subtracting them. So I'm gonna do 75.36 minus 56.52. So the difference between the circumference of circle A and circle B is 18.84 feet. Okay, let's look at number six. It says Miguel is going to top the frost of his donut right here. The radius of the entire donut is three inches and the radius of the inner circle is one inch. The radius of the inner circle that is cut out of the middle of the donut is one inch. What is the radius of the donut that Miguel is going to cover with frosting? So we'll need to find the radius of the whole donut and then we'll just subtract out that inner circle from it. 
So let's start by finding the area of the whole donut that has a radius of three inches by doing pi, so 3.14 times the radius of three squared. So that'll be 3.14 times nine. And we get 28.26 for the area of that whole donut. Now let's find the area of the inner circle. The inner circle that is cut out of the middle donut has a radius of one inch. So to find that area, I will do 3.14 times the radius of one squared. So it'll be 3.14 times one, which is just 3.14. So now to find the area that he's actually going to frost that doesn't include that inner circle that's cut out, we're gonna do 28.26 minus 3.14. And we get 25.12. So he will end up frosting 25.12 inches squared.